So in this video, I'm focusing on the Japanese style. So I have some keywords you can combine with Japanese style to get a really cool effect. So the first one is the moon. We have this beautiful image with the moon in the backdrop. And we have this one. It's just kind of like an abstract look. This is one of my favorites. I love the blues. I love the glow. It's just a fantastic picture. And then this one was just different. And so I threw it in. I actually, it's not one of my favorites, but I feel like it represents Japanese art. It might be something that you're looking for. Japanese style with countryside. We have a morning cup of tea. Some of these um, cherry blossoms. That's that's really pretty. I like that. And then we have uh, this maybe volcano there in the background. Paper cutout. This is a cool technique to try with anything, but especially with the Japanese style. So you just get this kind of 3D effect. And it's just really cute. Street art. Cute, nice, kind of weird. And this one is really kind of blends in. I know it's a bike there with flowers. I'm not sure what's happening in this transition here. Aerial view. So it's just an aerial view of some homes, of a wedding, and of just kind of some, some landscape. And then I have a bonus for you, watercolor splash. If you've been watching my other videos, you know I love watercolor splash. Okay, so we have this one. Looks good, I actually love it, but I'm gonna try not to be too dramatic. This one is very soft. And then we have another one. You'll notice with Japanese art, there's gonna be a lot of red and black in those, unless you specify a different color palette. So keep that in mind when you're working in Japanese art, if you don't want red and black, you do need to specify your color palette in your prompt. Like and subscribe. Have a good day. That's the most important thing. Have a good day.